Hi, I'm Jake Shaw with Kern Laser Systems. The Kern OptiFlex laser systems are a vital piece of equipment in any workshop. Though the OptiFlex systems are safe to operate, it's important to know the safety requirements and hazards associated with the system. Before operating the system, please take the time to read through the safety information found in your laser system manual. Today, I'd like to highlight these safety requirements and hazards with you. The OptiFlex laser systems are a class four laser system. Because of this classification, some requirements must be followed. A key element in a laser safety program is having a laser safety officer, or LSO. Some responsibilities of the LSO are verification of the laser system, read manufacturer's instructions for installation and maintenance of laser equipment, making sure the laser equipment is properly installed, limit access to laser areas, and train workers on safe use of lasers. Another key element in a laser safety program is establishing a laser controlled area, or LCA. The OptiFlex laser system is a class 4 CO2 laser system. There is the potential for invisible laser radiation when working near the machine. The LCA is intended to limit access to the machine to those with proper eye protection. Safety glasses with an optical density of greater than 5 at 10.6 microns are required inside the LCA. Persons entering the LCA should also be informed on the potential hazard. For additional information on establishing a laser safety program, and laser safety officer training programs, please review the following websites. Your laser system will come with a laser safety kit. Included in the safety kit is a class four danger sign with stickers, a disc with information on laser safety, two pairs of laser safety, gl safety glasses, and two bottles of safety glass lens cleaner. The class four laser sign needs to be posted at the access points of the room where the laser is located. This is typically a door or entryway. If there is more than one access point, additional signs should be posted. These signs are available for purchase on the laserlocker.com website. The disc contains a PDF document which covers information about the laser beam and the importance of wearing the correct safety eyewear. Please take the time to review this safety information. The laser safety glasses are rated properly for the use with Kern CO2 laser systems. Notice the glasses are marked with a wavelength of 10.6 microns and an optical density of 5 or greater. These safety glasses must be worn by anyone operating the laser system and personnel within close proximity of the laser system. If additional pairs of laser safety glasses are required, they are available for purchase on the laserlocker.com website. Appropriate eyewear must be worn at all times when working with the laser system. Never stare at the laser beam or place your eyes near the nozzle when the laser is firing. Small amounts of ultraviolet light can be emitted from the vaporized material. Direct eye contact with the invisible output beam will cause serious injury and possible blindness. The side panels of the laser system must be left on when the laser is in operation. They are removable for maintenance or troubleshooting purposes only and never to be removed when the laser system is in operation. Only persons that are authorized should remove these panels. Two laser beam access points are located on the gantry. One near the shutter block, and the other is just past the first turning mirror. The removable covers must be left in place at all times. They should only be removed by authorized persons when checking the laser's output power. The honeycomb, echolite, and table bed should be cleaned and removed of debris regularly. Buildup of residue and debris will increase the risk of fire. Use a cleaning detergent and water to clean these items. If the honeycomb or ecolite become deteriorated or not cleanable, they will need replacing and can be purchased from Kern. The black painted surface of the table bed may become worn. To recoat the worn spots, use a high temp flat black paint. Wait for the paint to dry and fumes to subside before operating the system. The top gantry should be wiped clean of dust and debris. Open both covers
and clean dust and particles or excess oil out of the gantry. If a large amount of debris is noticed, inspect the condition of the mechanics and belt. If you notice an issue, please contact Kern's technical support. The vacuum hoses should be checked regularly. If holes, tears, or buildup of residue and dust are found, the vacuum hoses should be replaced. Replacement hoses can be purchased on the laserlocker.com website. A fire extinguisher should be kept within close proximity of the laser system in case a fire should occur. The type of fire extinguisher must cover the laser system components and the materials you plan on cutting and engraving. More than one type of extinguisher may be necessary to obtain this. Check the extinguisher regularly to verify it's in good working condition. Never leave the laser system unattended while cutting or engraving. Some materials may emit harmful gases when cut or engraved. Refer to the material's SDS sheet to determine if the material is safe to cut or engrave. Use proper ventilation within the room housing the laser system. The exhaust air from the vacuum blower may need to be filtered for certain types of materials. Check with state or local government agencies regarding restrictions on the outdoor venting of vapors. The operators of the laser system should avoid wearing loose clothing. They should also remove all jewelry, rings, bracelets, necklaces, and similar items as they can be hazardous and can be electrically conductive and cause burns. People with long hair should tuck the hair back or use a cap to hold it up. Operators must not be under the influence of drugs or alcohol when running the laser system. Always wear rubber gloves or finger cots when handling the optic lens of the laser system. Lenses are made of a zinc solenoid and can be harmful to your health. Rubber gloves and finger cots will also prevent skin oils from getting onto the optic. Only certified electricians or authorized personnel should be allowed into the electrical panel. A proper lockout tagout procedure should be followed when working or troubleshooting within the electrical panel. The laser system is equipped with an interlock system. This interlock control is needed to protect maintenance personnel and operators from the risk of exposure to reflected laser light. If either of the gantry lids are opened, a signal is sent to the KLMC and the interlock light will illuminate red. The machine motion will stop and the laser beam is disabled. Close the lid and recycle the key switch to continue operation. The interlock system can also be used to interlock the access points to the room that the laser system is located in. For more information on this matter, please contact Kern. A shutter assembly is located just after the beam output of the laser head. When the shutter is in the open position, the laser will operate normally. When closed, the laser is electronically disabled and a red alarm light will appear in the KLMC box. Also, when in the closed position, the beam path is blocked by a physical barrier. When maintenance and troubleshooting are being performed, you should always make sure the shutter is in the closed position. The key switch on the front panel has an on and off position. When in the off position, the laser system motion will operate, but the laser beam is disabled. To fire the laser, turn the key to the on position, and after a five second delay, the key switch and laser enable light will illuminate green and the system is ready for normal operation. When using an S-Focus optic assembly, a protective Lexan shroud is mounted around the nozzle. This shroud is intended to prevent sliding hands or fingers under the nozzle. Never place hands or fingers under or near the nozzle when in operation. The shutter must be closed before placing hands or fingers near the nozzle. When using the V-Focus for systems with the metal cutting option, the protective shroud is not used. The Optiflex laser systems are equipped with four emergency stop switches, two in the front and two in the rear. When the e-stop is pressed, the motion and laser are disabled, and the e-stop light on the KLMC will illuminate red. To operate the system, depress the e-stop by turning the red knob in a clockwise direction. Press the system start button and recycle the key switch. There are various pinch points on the machine to be aware of. These locations are labeled with a pinch point sticker. When the laser system is in operation, avoid placing hands and fingers and other objects in the vicinity of these locations. Avoid touching and leaning on the laser system when in operation. Keep a safe distance from the system as it cuts and engraves. If you have any questions or concerns about the safety and hazards with your laser system, 
please contact one of us here at Curtin.